Worst day since September 2022, dragged lower by everything from the MAG-7 to semiconductor stocks. It was really the semiconductor stocks that took it on the nose. Joining us right now with his outlook for the sector and his squawk picks is Paul Meeks. He's Harvest Portfolio Management CIO. And uh, Paul, how are you feeling about this in the aftermath? He mentions that in the last month, NVIDIA had a quarterly earnings report and other relevant data, which might influence his investment decisions. So what I think is going to happen is we'll have a repeat of what happened only a month ago. And so if you take a look at the Bellwether stock, NVIDIA, a month ago, it did close at about 98, 99, even got uh, lower than that in early August in the interday move. And so we'll see how it goes. I imagine that we'll retest. And if we successfully retest that, then I'd probably go in and become a aggressive buyer again. Because in the last month or so, we had their quarterly earnings report and we had some other data. And of course, the company is going to slow a little bit. For his own clients, he has held the stock for years and isn't adding to his position at the moment. However, if new investments are coming in today, he recommends starting to invest now. He feels confident that if you bought the stock today, you'd be happy with it a year from now, despite the potential for short-term fluctuations. But it's still growing at a really good rate. The outlook is very bright. And I think the only thing that's really new that changes the thesis, I don't really think it changes it at all, is the subpoena that they've uh, received from the Department of Justice, which is typical in the technology sector when uh, angry competitors start complaining to the government. So I actually think it's a pretty good buying opportunity. Meeks acknowledges that while the company's growth rate may slow down slightly, it is still growing at a strong rate, and he is optimistic about its future prospects. After with the smoke clears here, and I hope it's uh, fairly soon today, it looks like the stock's going to open up at 106. That means it's trading at 29 times uh, next year's earnings for 42% earnings growth, whereas the, which is a nice discount, whereas the S&P 500 is trading at 20 plus times earnings. And it's probably trading at a peg ratio of about three times. And the peg ratio for NVIDIA is about 60, 70%. Meeks believes that if NVIDIA stock price tests at low point again and shows signs of stability or recovery, it could be a good buying opportunity. He indicates that he would consider being an aggressive buyer if the stock price successfully stabilizes or rebounds. So I actually think it's quite attractive. That's what I'm trying to figure. You would buy it today or you would wait, you said, till the smoke clears or until it tests that yeah, new, the, the low from before? Because, I mean, if you're if you're really bullish on it, it's 10 percent cheaper than it was yesterday. Meeks finds the stock in question attractive, but he's advising on the timing of purchasing it. He suggests that if you're really optimistic about the stock, buying it now could be advantageous since it's currently about 10% cheaper than it was the day before. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I would do. Uh, this is what I am doing. For clients where I hold it, I've held it for years, so I'm not adding to it. But if fresh money comes in today, yeah, I think you have to get started. You can't necessarily worry in the short term where it goes, but I'm very comfortable, 110% comfortable that if you bought it today, a year from now, you'd feel great. Of course, in the, near, in, in the near term, it could go lower, but that's always sure. a risk. He notes that the company has received a subpoena from the Department of Justice DOJ, which is a common occurrence in the tech industry, especially when competitors raise concerns with the government. However, he doesn't believe this legal issue fundamentally alters his positive view of the company. Why? Yeah, I like uh, Micron. Micron and only two other companies, the South Koreans, dominate in high bandwidth memory and high bandwidth memory is absolutely a key building block for AI infrastructure. They don't have their quarterly announcement until the end of September, so I'm always a little bit wary, particularly in this environment, of buying a stock ahead of company news. He mentions that the stock is expected to open at $106, which would mean it is trading at 29 times its projected earnings for the next year. This is considered a reasonable valuation given the company's projected 42% earnings growth. He contrasts this with the SP500, which is trading at a higher multiple of earnings over 20 times, suggesting that the company's stock is a better value relative to its growth prospects. Mix suggests that the current situation might mirror what happened about a month ago. He uses NVIDIA as an example, noting that its stock price fell to around $98 or $99 in early August. 
Because what we've seen in the last couple of weeks and months is companies report good news on their quarter. They report pretty positive guidance and the stocks still go down. It's just a, you know, a squirrely uh, market right now. But I like Micron very much. And those would probably be my two NVIDIA and Micron key semiconductor plays. Current market context, the tech sector recently faced its most challenging day since September 2022. This decline was notably severe, driven primarily by substantial drops in semiconductor stocks. Semiconductors are critical components in a wide range of electronic devices and have been central to the tech sector's growth. Therefore, a sharp downturn in this area can significantly impact the broader tech market. Historical context and comparison Paul Meeks draws a parallel between the current situation and a similar event that occurred approximately a month prior. Specifically, he highlights NVIDIA, a prominent company in the semiconductor industry, as a bellwether for this sector. About a month ago, NVIDIA's stock price experienced a notable decline, dropping to around $98 or $99. This period also saw the stock dipping below this level during intraday trading. This historical reference point is crucial for Meek's analysis, as it sets a precedent for how semiconductor stocks, and NVIDIA in particular, might behave in the current climate. Future Outlook Meeks anticipates that the tech sector, particularly semiconductor stocks like those of NVIDIA, may experience a similar pattern to what was observed a month ago. He suggests that the market could witness a retest of the lower price levels seen previously. For investors, this presents a critical juncture if NVIDIA's stock price successfully stabilizes and demonstrates resilience at or around these lower levels, it might indicate a good opportunity for investment. Investment strategy should NVIDIA's stock retest and hold its ground at these lower levels, Meeks is prepared to act on this by becoming an aggressive buyer. His strategy is informed by recent developments, including NVIDIA's quarterly earnings report and other relevant data that have been released over the past month. These factors are essential in evaluating the stock's potential for recovery and growth. Analysis of recent data Meeks' willingness to consider an aggressive buying strategy hinges on the data and performance metrics from NVIDIA's latest earnings report. Such reports provide insights into a company's financial health, operational efficiency, and market position. If these indicators are positive or show improvement, they could bolster confidence in the stock's ability to rebound and grow, making it an attractive investment opportunity. Paul Meeks is offering an analysis of a company's stock, reflecting on both its current situation and future prospects. His commentary provides insight into how he views the stock's investment potential, especially in light of recent developments. Let's break down each component of his statement in detail. 1. Growth and Future Outlook Meeks begins by acknowledging that the company's growth may experience a slight deceleration. This means that while the company is still expanding and its business is growing, the pace of this growth might not be as rapid as it has been in the past. Despite this anticipated slowdown, Meeks remains confident in the company's overall growth trajectory. He believes that the company will continue to grow at a strong rate, indicating that the company's fundamentals are solid and its long-term prospects are promising. His optimism about the bright outlook suggests he thinks the company is well positioned to succeed in the future and that its growth, even if slightly reduced, will remain robust. 2. Impact of the Doge subpoena a significant part of Meek's analysis revolves around a recent development involving the Department of Justice DOJ. The company has received a subpoena from the DOJ, which is essentially a formal request for information as part of an investigation. In the context of the technology sector, such legal actions are not uncommon. They often arise when competitors or other parties raise concerns or complaints with government regulators. Meeks notes that while the subpoena is a new development, he does not believe it fundamentally changes his investment thesis or his overall positive view of the company. He suggests that such legal issues are part of the broader landscape of the technology industry and are often a reaction to competitive dynamics rather than indicative of a company's intrinsic value or operational health. Therefore, he does not see this development as a reason to alter his view on the company's potential. 3. Assessment of current buying opportunity. Meeks interprets the current situation as a favorable buying opportunity. Despite the recent legal issue, he believes that the stock is currently undervalued and presents a good investment opportunity. His assessment is based on the stock's expected performance and valuation metrics. He mentions that the stock is anticipated to open at a price of $106. This price implies that the stock is trading at a valuation of 29 times the company's projected earnings for the next year. 
Given that the company is expected to achieve a 42% growth in earnings, this valuation represents a discount relative to its growth potential. Mix considers this a nice discount, meaning that the stock is priced attractively considering its strong growth prospects. 4. Comparison with broader market valuations. To put the stock's valuation in perspective, Mix compares it to the broader market. He notes that the SP500, a benchmark index that includes a broad range of large cap US stocks, is trading at over 20 times earnings. This is a higher multiple than the 29 times earnings for the company in question. By extension, he suggests that the company's stock offers better value relative to its earnings growth compared to the overall market. Additionally, Meeks implies that the stock is trading at a P-E ratio three times potentially referring to a comparison with some other metric or sector average, further underscoring the value proposition of the company's stock relative to broader market indices. The comparison suggests that while the company's stock has a solid growth outlook and a reasonable valuation, it is still trading at a discount compared to its peers or the broader market. Current stock evaluation. Meeks considers the stock in question to be quite appealing at present. He notes that, from a valuation standpoint, the stock is currently priced approximately 10% lower than it was the previous day. This suggests a potential opportunity for investors who are optimistic about the stock's future performance. Investment timing advice. Mix provides a nuanced approach to timing an investment. He indicates that if you're genuinely bullish i.e., very positive on this stock, buying it now could be a strategic move. The reasoning behind this is that the stock is currently cheaper than it was yesterday, which could provide a favourable entry point for investors who believe in the stock's long-term potential. For existing holdings. For clients who already hold this stock and have done so for several years, Mix advises against adding more to their positions at the moment. This suggests that while he remains positive about the stock, he is not recommending increasing exposure right now, possibly due to short-term market uncertainties or valuation concerns approach for new investments. When it comes to new money or fresh investments coming in today, Mix is more positive. He recommends starting to invest in the stock now, as he is 110% comfortable with the idea. He expresses a strong level of confidence, suggesting that if you were to purchase the stock today, you would likely feel very satisfied with that decision a year from now. This confidence is based on his long-term view of the stock's potential performance. Acknowledgement of short-term risks Despite his overall positive outlook, Meeks acknowledges that there are risks associated with short-term fluctuations in the stock's price. He is aware that the stock might go lower in the near term, which is a common risk factor in investing. However, his long-term confidence in the stock's performance outweighs these short-term risks. Perspective on Micron Technology Meeks also discusses his views on Micron Technology, providing insights into why he is bullish on the company and highlighting some of the associated risks bullish on Micron. Meeks expresses a positive stance on Micron technology, indicating that he likes the company for several reasons. Micron is a significant player in the high bandwidth memory market, which is a critical component for AI infrastructure. This positions Micron well in a rapidly growing and essential segment of technology. Market position and competition. He points out that Micron, along with only two other companies, is crucial in the high bandwidth memory sector. This is notable because high bandwidth memory is a key building block for AI technology, making Micron's role especially important. The South Korean companies are dominant in this market, which adds context to Micron's competitive positioning. Upcoming quarterly announcement. Meeks notes that Micron's next quarterly earnings announcement is scheduled for the end of September. He expresses some caution about buying the stock right before this announcement. His caution stems from a broader market trend where companies have recently reported positive earnings and provided optimistic guidance, yet their stock prices have still experienced declines. Current market conditions. He describes the current market environment as squarely or unpredictable. This suggests that market conditions are volatile and there is a degree of uncertainty surrounding how stocks will react to news and earnings reports. This volatility contributes to his cautious approach regarding investments tied to upcoming company news. Long-term view on Micron. Despite the short-term risks and market unpredictability, Meeks remains optimistic about Micron's long-term prospects. He believes that the company's fundamental position in the high bandwidth memory market will likely lead to positive outcomes over time. 
In summary, Paul Meeks is providing a strategic investment perspective that balances current opportunities with potential risks. He advises taking advantage of the current lower price of the stock in question if you are confident in its future performance, while also acknowledging the risks of short-term price movements. For Micron Technology, he remains positive about the company's long-term prospects, but is cautious about buying ahead of upcoming news in an unpredictable market. 